We're going to use the crisscross method here, uh, 4x squared plus 29x minus 24, and we see that um, we want to have uh, two numbers that multiply to 4, but we're probably going to try 2 and 2 first. Two numbers that multiply to negative 24, we could try negative 6 and 4. Well, 2 times 4 is 8, and 2 times negative 6 is negative 12, and negative 12 plus 8 definitely doesn't give me a 29. So instead of uh, negative 6 and 4, uh, I could try positive 6 and negative 4, but that obviously won't work. So I could try negative 8 and 3 here. It won't work. I could try negative 12 and 2 here. It won't work and I could try negative 24 and 1 here and it won't work and neither will it work if we reverse the signs so at first glance we might say geez we can't do this question but that's not true because the error might be in the original column instead of trying 2 and 2 as numbers that multiply to 4 maybe we need to try 4 and 1 if we try 4 and 1 then we can um, say that uh, the two numbers that multiply to negative 24 might be 6 and 4, and we'll make the 4 negative. 4 times negative 4 is negative 16, and 1 times 6 is uh, 6. 6 minus 16 is negative 10. Okay, that's not good. Well, maybe we could try rearranging it so that 4 and 1, we put the negative 4 up here and the 6 down here. Now right away we should say to ourselves this won't work because this would involve a common factor of 4 in the first one, in the first binomial, but there is no common factor of 4 here. However, we might not notice that right away. We try our crisscross method. 4 times 6 is 24. 1 times negative 4 is negative 4. Negative 4 plus 24 is 20, but I wanted it to be 29. So I'm going to need numbers farther apart than 4 and 6. So I try 4 and 1, and I try, uh, how about, 8 and 3. But again, I look at this and I say to myself, if 4x plus 8 is one of my factors, I can common factor a 2 out of that factor. If I can common factor, or sorry, common factor a 4 out of that factor, if I can common factor a 4 out of the original, out of the uh, one of the binomials I end up with, then I would have been able to common factor a 4 out of here. I couldn't. So that's not going to be the answer. But why don't I switch them around? Make it a 3 and an 8. And since I want the um, sum to be positive, why don't I try letting uh, the 3 be negative and the 8 be positive? 1 times negative 3 is negative 3. 4 times positive 8, that's, that's a positive 8 there, 4 times positive 8 is 32, negative 3 plus 32 is 29. Look at that, we got what we wanted. We wanted it to have a sum of 29, and it does. So our crisscross method eventually worked, and we had 4x minus 3 times 1x plus 8. Okay.